having the final say. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on two big players. Kylian Mbappé, Paolo Dybala. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start by mentioning today's story on Paolo Dybala because we're receiving many questions every single transfer window on how it works, the contract of Dybala at Roma in terms of closes. And today it's time to clarify that with all the details. So from what I'm told, guys, yes, the release clause for Paolo Dybala and it's an official release clause is valid in January, but it's not valid till the end of January. It's valid from the 1st of January, so already active now, till day 15 of January, so the first two weeks of January. Then it's over. Dybala is going nowhere. So the only way is to trigger the close now. How much is that close? 12, 1, 2 million euros. Yes, 12 million euros. It's an incredible release close, and it's there. Then the same close, 12 million euros, is also valid in the summer transfer window. It's valid from the 1st of July to the end of July. So not in August, not in June, only the whole month of July. This is the point. Now, let's see what's going to happen in terms of discussions, because Dybala, it's important to clarify this point, always stated, especially in the summer, that he only wanted to stay at Roma, he was focused on Roma, uh, he's always showing his love for Roma, the club, the city, the team, obviously the teammates, the manager, so everything is okay there, but the close is there for Paolo Dybala. There are two important points to explain. If a club from Italy triggers the buy close for Paolo Dybala, so they go there and put 12 million euros, Roma can stop the deal and keep Dybala the club. So in that case, Roma can say no, the player is going nowhere. Then, in case Dybala receives this proposal, this official bid to trigger the close, 12 million euros, from a club, from abroad, so from Spain, from England, from Germany, from Saudi, from France, from wherever, in that case, it's really important to say that it's Dybala having the final say, not Roma. Roma can't do anything. So if a club from any country, but not Italy, comes there and receives and uh, proposes 12 million euros, it's Dybala deciding, not Roma. This is important. Let's see what's going to happen with Dybala, but for sure. Now the focus is the, of the player is on Roma, and he also scored yesterday. He's still doing great. For Roma and his relationship with Mourinho is excellent. So obviously Roma don't want to lose Dybala in the January transfer window. Paris Saint-Germain will not lose Kylian Mbappé in January in terms of January window, but could lose Kylian Mbappé in the summer in terms of free agent, because Kylian Mbappé is out of contract, as we know, in the summer. And yesterday, in his statement, he said, I didn't make any decision, as we already said here in the channel, guys, I told you, it will take some time. Let's see when Mbappé will decide his future. But at the moment, nothing is decided. But he also said, we have a pact with the president of Paris Saint-Germain, Nasser al khelaifi and so all parties will be protected in this story. What does Mbappé mean with this sentence? From what I'm told, behind the scenes, and this is something that happened in the summer, end of July, beginning of August, you remember the big fight between Mbappé and PSG, and then they were able to change the situation. Why? Because Mbappé accepted uh, to not receive the loyalty bonus included in his contract at PSG. It's something close to 75, 80 million euros per season. So 75, 80 million euros would not be received by Kylian Mbappé in case he leaves the club as free agent. So in that case, for example, if Mbappé goes to Real Madrid in the summer transfer window for free, Paris Saint-Germain know that Mbappé would not receive the loyalty bonus. It means that they would save something around 80 million euros. It's like receiving a transfer fee formally for Kylian Mbappé. Obviously, it's still far from what Mbappé value is, but it's still something to protect all parties. Let's see what's going to happen, because Paris Saint-Germain will keep insisting on a contract extension, because Real Madrid are still there for sure, still thinking of Kylian Mbappé and still working on Kylian Mbappé behind the scenes. But this is the reality as of today. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Mbappé, on Paolo Dybala. I wait for your comments. Here as always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.